Hi everyone, I'm Alina, and for those that have not met me, I'm one of the global program managers for the Google Developer Experts Program, and I'm based out of San Francisco. And I'm the infamous last speaker before lunch, um, <laughs> which is always a challenge, so I'll try to make things quick. So what I'll discuss today is I'll first introduce the basics of the Google Developer Experts Program, talk about the application process, and then also touch on opportunities for GDGs and GDEs to partner on events and good ways that we've seen partnership in the past. Some of you in this room are also GDEs already, um, which is a great experience. And for those that are considering becoming a GDE or even just know candidates, keep all of this information in mind toward different purposes and audiences. So who are the Google developer experts? So basically our program is a community of people that are passionate about a specific Google technology or industry area. You don't have to be an expert in just a Google product. You can also be an expert in an industry function such as marketing, product strategy, UI, UX. So there's a lot of opportunities to showcase whatever your passion is, whatever you have an expertise in. You also don't have to represent just one single area. You can represent multiple products or functional areas. In terms of what differentiates our program, so there are elements that are very similar between our other community programs like WTM, like the GDG program. In terms of community organization, being a speaker, being passionate about reaching out to developers across the entire world. Um, but the one aspect that differentiates the Google Developer Experts program is the application process. So in order to be an expert, you do have to go through an application and through an interview to prove that you have the expertise in the specific area or industry function that you want to represent worldwide. So some of the ways that experts do this is through different community activities. So some of our experts are very passionate about speaking at events. Um, they seek out different industry conferences. They come speak at Next, at I.O. They'll organize their own conferences and events. Whatever they feel like doing that they feel like is the most effective way to spread the word about their product and expertise area. Some of our experts are really passionate about content creation. And this touches on content like online media, publishing blogs, on platforms like Medium, making videos. We have a lot of people that run their own podcasts. So the way that you engage with the community is completely up to you as an expert. And here are just some of the examples that experts have represented their products. So in terms of impact and global reach, currently we have around 740 global experts in 60 different countries. And then in terms of reach that they have through all of those activities that I just mentioned, we had 43,000 trained through different training groups and workshops in 2018. We also had about 5 million readers, and this includes all of the content that they're creating. So things like I mentioned, podcasts, blogs, um, random pieces, ad conferences that they might publish in a PR article. We represent 17 different product areas and functions, and I'll touch a, bit, a little bit later about specifically what those are. Um, and then we also had 530,000 trained through listening to s different talks. And these talks include um, more spontaneous and formal events at meetups, but then they also include conferences that experts have organized and giving talks at big conferences like I.O. So here is a list of the different product areas that you can be an expert with. And as I mentioned before, you don't have to be an expert with just one area. You can have expertise in multiple areas, and a lot of our GDEs do. Um, so anything from Android to everything that encompasses the Google Cloud Platform, G Suite, Firebase, Flutter. A recent one that we just added was the Maps um, Platform. And then in the middle, you can see examples of those industry functions that I mentioned that you can also showcase expertise in. So functions like marketing, anything related to product management and design, um, such as user research, UI, UX. Um, and then also, if there's a function that you feel like you want to showcase expertise in that isn't mentioned, that's always a conversation that you can have with our global team, um, as well as adding a new product area that has not been represented. In the past, a lot of our experts have seen in the community passion around a product or something new that's coming out from Google that people just are not aware of. And that's how they started representing a new product area. So now that you've heard the basics, introduction to what the program is. I'll touch on the application process. 
So in order to be eligible to apply, the very basic foundational requirement you have to meet is you do have to be already an expert in that specific product area or industry function. You need to display continued activity as you're spreading that expertise. And so you can do that through a variety of different tasks, some of which I already touched on. You can create tutorials, focus more on technical content. You can mentor people, um, and this could be through formal mentorship groups, could be through GDG groups, could be through your own mentorship circles that you set up. Um, and then finally, just being influential and a recognized speaker at specific tech conferences. And this is something that you can develop once you do become an expert. You don't have to join the expert program and right away be a recognized famous expert. That takes time to develop, and through this program, that's something that you can work on. And then finally, just in general, having the ability to communicate. I think through all of the programs that we've spoken on, this is a common theme. You do need to be able to represent, in this case, the specific expertise that you have in a product area um, and be able to represent that product to the community and answer questions, provide general advice, specifically in the technical aspect. So in terms of the process, let's say you are interested in applying to be a Google developer expert or you might not be interested, you might know somebody that you're meeting um, out in your GDG community that might be a great candidate, the first thing that you have to do is to reach out to a lo local Google contact. So this could be a product area POC, this could be a regional lead, this could be one of us that you know um, that's currently a Google contact. And the other option is you can also reach out to an existing GDE. So once you reach out and express your interest and basically the fit is assessed, you complete an application process followed by an interview with an existing expert from that specific area. So for example, let's say you want to be an expert representing Android, you would interview with an Android expert that's already active in the community. And then once you make it through that interview, you have to do a final interview with a Google specialist. Um, and this last bit is very important. You do have to complete an NDA and a term, uh, terms and condition agreement that's unique to the GDE program due to the nature of confidentiality that you get in terms of product roadmaps, new features that are coming up with Google products as part of being a GDE. So here are a couple different areas that you could expect if you do become a GDE. Um, so the first and essentially the most basic one is acknowledgement by Google that you are a GDE, you'll get a special program badge that you can include on websites, business cards, wherever you want to showcase professionally that you are a GDE. There's different badges for each product area, so let's say you're a um, GCP expert, you'll have a little cloud badge. And if you're an expert in multiple areas, you'll have a badge for each individual area. Um, so you'll get invitations to exclusive projects with Google, um, and basically this is for the purpose of introducing the roadmap for a specific product, give you an opportunity to test those features, to get feedback from the larger community. Um, and based on this, our next point is the access to Google Teams. So through being in the community and through representing new innovations, building your own apps, really developing that technical expertise, you'll be able to have regular communication with Google Teams. Um, so this includes anything from product management to engineering, and our Google Teams are very excited about the product that GDEs, the product feedback that GDEs provide. Um, so this is something that's very encouraged and valued across Google. You'll get invitations to Google events like Next and I.O. and other conference-wide, uh, industry-wide events. And then finally, um, something that's a bit harder to put a value on, but really the access to the global network that you get being a GDE. So as I mentioned, we have around 750 experts worldwide, and if you're working in a specific product area, this can be very valuable to know what's new, what's up and coming with someone else that has a similar passion in your product area. All right, let's see if this will cooperate. There we go. So in the past, if you're listening to all of this information and you're thinking, hmm, I don't necessarily want to be a GDE, but the GDEs do a lot of cool stuff that you can leverage, this section is exactly for you. 
So in the past, we've had a lot of partnership between GDGs and GDEs in terms of hosting different events and meetups um, and basically partnering at those conferences that I mentioned, IO, Next, really to try to amplify the event and bring a lot of attention to it through participating in multiple programs. You can facilitate technical guidance and training, and a lot of um, our GDGs have utilized GDEs for this to basically come on site to their event, provide a training, provide expertise, um, do a quick demo of a new feature that's coming out with a product. So really great ways to get involved that way. You can partner on specific campaigns such as DevFest, study jams, again, basically to amplify the event and possibly reach a wider audience. A lot of the GDEs have an existing um, audience and an existing fan base, so that's something that they can definitely leverage through participation. You can include experts as speakers at GDG events. So this is probably the most popular way that GDEs and GDGs have um, collaborated in the past, and it's very effective. GDEs, as I mentioned, they have good fan audiences, um, good reputation around product knowledge and sharing ideas. And this is something, if you're interested, you can actually get travel sponsorship from our team. Um, so just feel free to reach out to one of us. Um, also feel free to directly reach out to a GDE if you know of one um, that you feel like is a good fit. You can just directly have that con communication with them. You can also recommend potential GDE candidates. Um, so as, as you're out in the community all over North America, you meet somebody that you feel like displays really good expertise, um, please feel free to reach out to us and recommend them, recommend them to apply to the program. And then finally, you can use GDEs to provide the product feedback that I mentioned GDEs have in existing relationships with Google Teams. So if you're using a Google product and you really want them to know about a cool feature that should be included, or if there's a bug or something else that's not working out, just reach out to our team, reach out to a GDE, and you'll be able to facilitate that product feedback. So in terms of resources and more information, we have uh, our main website, which is developers.google.com slash experts. And there you'll find some more information about the program, the application process. You'll be able to see examples of existing GDEs and some of the activities that they do. Um, and then you can also see all of the product areas in more detail that are an option to be a GDE for. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter to get examples of the activities that GDEs are currently doing. Um, and then finally, we have a pretty active medium community, and this is really the best place to see examples of the content that GDEs are creating that's unique and brand new. Um, GDEs are very active on this blog. They post tutorials, they post cool stuff that they've done at events. So if you're thinking about potentially applying to be a GDE, or you know of somebody that's interested in becoming a GDE, this is a great way to get to know more about, is this something you'd be interested in? Is this something that you would be able to contribute to? All of those things are great to feel out. So that's my talk. Thank you so much for listening all about the Google Developer Experts program. Um, please reach out to me if you have any questions about the program, if you want additional information. Um, I'll be here throughout tomorrow. So if you just want to chat with me about becoming a GDE or know somebody that's a great candidate for the GDE program, feel free to, um, to grab some time with me and we can chat. Thank you.